Hello and welcome. This is a quick demo to show how you can export uh, Keyhouse clients into Excel and then uh, after that import them directly into Outlook. So to start I'm going to open up a blank sheet in Excel. I'm using Excel 2007. I'm just going to go to data here. Um, my ribbon bar up top here is data from other sources from Microsoft Query. then will pop, takes a second or two for the pop up, so we've got a list of data sources and we're going to just pick the key house, you sh everybody should have a key house one if you have the key house application installed, so we'll just click onto that. Up then it will ask you for a password, um, you need to get that from your administrator, so I'm going to use the um, password we have here. Once you've entered in your password you will get offered a list of um, tables of information uh, to pick from. So I'm going to go down to uh, contacts. I can go down to contacts either by scrolling down through the list or I can type it in so you know, contacts which will bring me straight down. Once I hit the little um, plus symbol beside contacts I get a list of all of the items in the contacts table. So these are the pieces of information. So for example you have the client code, client name, address, salutation, telephone number, fax, email. So I'm going to include all of those in my query. There is also a load of other pieces of information right down to dates of births, comments, various other pieces of information. But generally when you're just doing your stuff into, into Outlook you just want the, the, the bare basics there. So we just click next to that. It's asking me then do I want to um, filter out the rows or do a, provide a filter on this. What I'm going to do in this case here, because sometimes if you're going to do a mail shot or whatever, you only want to bring over the ones to the clients that you have uh, email addresses for. So what I'm going to do quickly here is just go email here, where the email does not equal to and uh, to blank. So what I'm going to do is just put in two single quotes there, just to signify blank. Uh, go next to that. Do I want to sort it? I could sort it by the client code, client name. I'll sort it by name, let's say next and then where do I want the data to be returned to just return it back to Excel so when I click on that and then I'm going to start it there that's fine click OK and that returns just some of the basic kind of basic names and addresses and details that we've just asked for there so once I do that um, what I need to do then is uh, label my range of data f before I bring it into Outlook so what I do is I highlight all of the data all the way down, all the way across, make sure I get it all, all the way down to the end. So it's important that you highlight the full block of data and no more than the full block of data. Once you've done that, in this uh, name box here, uh, what you need to do then is give that a name, that range, that what you've highlighted a name. So I'll just simply just type in and type in C uh, client list and hit enter on that, so that labels it for me. And once I've done that now, I have my sheet ready now, so I just gotta save that, give it a name, and I'll just call this uh, client list. I'm gonna call client list two, because I have them there from earlier. So just hit save to that. Uh, and get a compatibility checker here, you can just hit continue on that, that's fine. So once you have that done, then you make sure you close it before then we go off to do the Outlook side. So I'm going to bring in my Outlook. <coughs> the first thing I'm going to do here in my Outlook is um, if you're in your mailbox here I recommend uh, what you do is go to uh, a folder list of in your Outlook and you should then see the full folder list of all folders and then if you click on mailbox what I'm going to do is rather than importing it into your current contact list which is which is uh, your contacts that you'd have in Outlook currently um, what we're going to do is create a little separate folder for the for your clients coming from Keyhouse so in the mailbox here I'm going to right click go new folder I'm going to call it Keyhouse clients and then what we're going to do is in we're going to set this to contact items, that's the folder type, that's what this folder is going to contain is contact items. So we click OK to that. And you see then that creates a new folder for Keyhouse Client. 
and then now what we're going to do is we're going to import the data that we've just exported out to Excel so we're just going to file import export import from another program or file is the one to choose go next select Microsoft Excel 97 or 2003 will do fine next then it asks you for the name of the file you want to import uh, it's picking up one there from earlier but I'm going to pick it th th our new our new file there now so let me just uh, go down here it should be here we yep client this too so I've picked that in if this is the first time you're in importing um, or second time depending on with these options here you may want to replace the current items that are in that folder or you may want to allow to bring in duplicates or do not import anything that's already in the key has client uh, list so um, I'm going to say don't import uh, items that are already there go next key has client that's where I wanted to go yep that's fine perfect next okay that's the file I'm importing now what's really important here is the map custom fields right so what you need to do here is these are all the field names that I've got currently in my Excel sheet there's code name address allocation so on what you need to do is map each one of those fields. You don't have to map them all. You just map the ones you really want. So, name will go to will go to name. Address will go to address. Business address more than likely. Okay, and then the other important one then is just your email address, which uh, is there. You drag that and drop it to email address. Okay. If you want, then bring in the telephone numbers. Then um, uh, you might have business phone there, so telephone there, okay, and business fax. Then you can drop to there like that. So once you've got the field map correctly, you click OK to that, and then you just hit finish then on that, and that will import all of our contacts then in. Depending on how many contacts you have, will depend on how long that'll take. Um, so I've imported there now all my contacts, and. There you go, you get your full list, and if you want to have a look at one, just double click in here, there's my George Abbott. So you see there, it's brought in the basic kind of information and so on. Okay, so that's it folks. I would recommend if you're going to um, import this again, either clear out uh, the list of names here. So if you did want to clear all the names out, you just... Uh, you just do a, 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 an edit, select all, and then uh, hit the delete on your key keyboard or go edit, delete, and that will remove all those contacts and then you can import them again uh, another stage. Okay, that's it for now.